Curtis Ayers, the man accused of killing Detective Lancaster, is at Research Medical Center and he is surrounded by guards after he was shot by police near 71 Highway and Bannister Road yesterday. Now this afternoon, Jackson County prosecutors charged him with assault, two counts of unlawful use of a weapon, resisting arrest, and three counts of armed criminal action. Ayers is expected to face even more charges tomorrow from Wyandotte County for the murder of the detective. 41 Action News, Andres Gutierrez joins us now live from research. Now, Andres, I know you talked to Ayers' former employer, so what did you learn about that today? Yeah, Mike, his former boss didn't want to be identified, but he did say that he gave J Curtis Ayers a chance, but it was a completely different person under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Ayers remains in the hospital, but a day after his alleged crime spree, prosecutors filed multiple charges. Court documents detail how he tried to escape police on Highway 71 and Bannister Road Monday afternoon. They say Ayers wounded one woman, then opened fire at another driver. Ayers was eventually stopped by an officer's rifle. The 28-year-old was on the run after the shooting death of KCK Detective Brad Lancaster about 30 miles away near the Hollywood Casino. That sparked a massive of manhunt. I got a message stating that the Kansas City Police Department was looking for Curtis Ayers and that he says that he was an employee of mine. Ayers former boss says he hired him at his drywall company soon after his recent stint in prison. He was trying to clean his act up. He didn't want to work in the bar anymore. I gave him a chance. He did well for a couple of weeks. The job helped Air support his two sons. He would go home and spend evenings with them, and he would come back to work talking about them like he loved his boys. He did. But his boss says Ayers fought addictions, and on the fourth week of his employment, began to notice Ayers under the influence. He says that may have played a factor in Monday's acts of violence. The Curtis I knew sober would not have done that, would not have ran around with the gun. And now both Ayers and the woman he shot along Highway 71 are in stable condition here at Research Medical Center. Ayers' bond is set at $250,000. Reporting live in Kansas City this evening, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.